CLC acts as more of a conduit for our engaged uh, construction leaders to connect and interact and share their experiences with other young professionals. We can all learn from other people's experiences. And at the core of it, that's what we're trying to accomplish and facilitate here with these engaged leadership speaker series. It's so much more enjoyable to coach than it is to supervise. It's so much more enjoyable to go out and recruit than it is to hire. We've got two great speakers here to talk about just that. First one is Chris Herndon. Come on up, Chris. He's president of Full Cup Coaching. Uh, he is a high performance coach uh, and really he specializes in developing uh, talent. The next coach uh, is Coach Pat Casey, a head baseball coach at Oregon State University. Come on up, Pat. He's the national uh, championship baseball coach uh, in 2006 and 2007. It's what he does off the field, it's what he does in the locker room, it's the relationships that he has, getting the most out of your players on the field. And so, Pat Casey, welcome. Thank you. Most people, if they're not inspired, there's hardly anything they'll accomplish, but once they're inspired, there's hardly anything they can accomplish. Understanding how you show up in the world, how you engage with others, what's important to you, what kind of future you want for yourself, um, like that's, it's that awareness is the foundation, I think, of everything. We learn right away there's 168 hours in a week, and we learn how to maximize those hours before we can do anything, and we just decide how we want to use it, and whoever uses that to the maximum of their ability learns how to out, outdo their opponent, whether it's in the business world, whether it's in the classroom, whether it's on the field. These thoughts and emotions drive my behaviors, how I show up, how I engage, what I say, what I don't say, and these lead to the results, right? You walk out of here feeling like you got value out of this conversation. Um, do you not? But ultimately, I get to determine that based off of my thoughts. Your habits become your character and your character becomes your destiny. And Habits, you want to change your life, change your habits. I tell our guys that all the time. If you want to be successful, if you want to be at the top of your game, you have to manage your energy accordingly. I know one thing for sure, you can't change the man until you change the mind. I know that from 31 years of coaching. What, what could I do today? In other words, starting right now to, to improve my effectiveness yes. as a leader coach. Ask for feedback. Welcome feedback from your team, from your peers. I think that's another thing that I see that goes missed oftentimes is there's no feedback loop. You want to be a great leader and you want great followers, you have to make those that you're leading feel they're more important than you are. First thing out. But they'll follow you through hell with a gas can <laughs> if, if they trust you and they love you and they know that you will fall on the sword before they ever will. The best investment that you can make is just on helping somebody be a better person and be the best version of them, themselves they possibly can.